The future of private prisons in Tennessee will soon be at the mercy of the state legislature. This news after a pair of meetings about staff shortages and inadequate data from two private prisons operated by the contractor Core Civic. And as News Channel 5's Kyle Horan found out, changes at the facilities will need to happen fast. Kyle. Yeah, and that's because the Tennessee Department of Correction was only approved to operate for one more year by the legislature. And uh, that means the Comptroller audit will start immediately and will go for about a year. And depending on Core Civic's compliance, we may see a push by state lawmakers to end the use of private prisons in our state. When you got only half the rosters you requested from Trousdale, you It's been just one month since the last time we've been here. And since then, there's been some changes called for by the State Department of Correction. I think today you heard uh, a commitment from the Department of Corrections to ramp up that accountability. Uh, as I've said, we've added additional monitors uh, to all of the core civic facilities, as well as an executive level oversight to ensure compliance uh, with the contract. The last time we brought you video from this room, we told you a state audit of two core civic facilities came up lacking. Information was unavailable from Trousdale Turner Correctional Center, and staffing both there and at Whiteville Correctional Facility were dangerously low. State legislators annoyed that the private prison contractor couldn't meet requirements of their contract, despite receiving an estimated billion dollars annually on state prisons. And for the first time, we hear from the warden of the facility, one of three in just two years' time at Trousdale. That to end, we have significantly increased the wages and benefits for correctional officers to attract and keep qualified employees. But if you ask Ashley Dixon, a former correctional officer there, the problems go much deeper than just staffing. My starting class had five people in it. Um, when I left, there was only one other person from my starting class in there, and even she was applying for other jobs. She says in her short seven-month stint, she saw people die from not receiving medical aid. She saw a ratio of dozens of inmates to officers and abuse of all kinds. These are our friends, these are our neighbors, these are people who have made mistakes, but um, our prisons aren't rehabilitating them, and I think that's something that we definitely need to care about as taxpayers. And after the meeting, I spoke with Representative Bo Mitchell. He told me that this could be the year that we see a bill in the state legislature that could put an end to private prisons. We'll keep you updated with more information if that happens. Reporting live in Nashville, Kyle Haran, News Channel 5.